<laughs> you went there. You, you got to get him back. You got to get a two foot tackle ah, in later. Right. Get love, him in that little baby. black ball, Pablo. Uh, Luis, we know how talented Messi is. We've seen it for years <laughs> and years. But to see a 35 year old Messi performing like he is in this World Cup has been quite something, hasn't it? Are you surprised? Uh, a little bit, because definitely if you've been watching what, what he's been doing in Paris Saint-Germain, that he, he walks many times. Uh, he's been outstanding, of course, because of the talent, because of the ability, because of the experience. All that has put it to, to, uh, to the advantage of the team of PSG. So I was expecting a good Lionel Messi, surrounded by good players, that they are going to fight against him. But I wasn't expecting him to be key, to be one of the best players of the tournament. I've, we've seen so young players doing good things, sometimes and good games, ups and downs, but he's been consistent. Once again, he, he's been very good in every single game. Maybe not scoring, but assisting, being important, being dangerous, uh, helping to the team when he was needed. I'm not saying it's lying or tackling, but also dropping down to grab the ball, to keep the ball what he was necessary. So. I'm, ne I'm never surprised with uh, with Messi because I know that he's always another level. He's always opening a, a new level, and I'm just glad to to have the chance of watching him. We'll see uh, what happens at the, um, uh, on Sunday, but definitely it's been one of the best tournaments from him. And seeing that at the 35 years old is just uh, again amazing. But uh, we don't have words to 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 talk about him. Pablo, what's been your favourite Messi moment of the tournament so far? Was it that no-look assist? Was it that run against Vardiol? Or was it something else? Uh, for me, uh, I would say his goal against Mexico in the second game. That was a turning point uh, for Argentina. Because we lost the first game against Saudi Arabia, the first half against uh, Mexico. Uh, Argentina not being good enough and we needed someone to, to break the deadlock and, and, and to score that goal that we needed to bring a bit of relief or something and to win the game and, and that was Messi. Uh, and you could really see uh, his celebration, his passion and since there Argentina I think just uh, uh, got, get, gets him better and better in the tournament. Uh, he's been of course uh, always the main man in, in, in all the games but I think that particular moment was really important for the team. Jules, one thing we've seen in tournaments with Messi is whether he has the right supporting cast around him when it comes to the Argentina national team. This time around, one player we have really seen step up to the mark has been Julian Alvarez. Yeah, incredible World Cup for such a young player, 22, who didn't start the World Cup as a starter. Lautaro started the first game against Saudi Arabia and then I think Alvarez convinced Caloni to start him, to play him, because, because of his all-around game. It's not just the goals, it's the way he stretches the defence with his running, the pressing. I mean, he runs forever and ever and ever. And I think this team, and especially when they play with a fourth central midfielder like we saw against Croatia in the semi-final, which is potentially what they're going to do in the final again, you need Alvarez, you need his runs, you need that kind of energy. And him and Messi play so well together because of that. And, you know, I'm not sure Lautaro would have been in the same position, for example, to get the penalty against Croatia, to score the goal that Alvarez scored, even if there was a bit of luck involved in it. But I think Alvarez has been not a revelation because we knew how good he was. A River and then uh, with, with, with City, the game that he's played, he becoming better and better and better in the first half of the season. It's just to do it in a World Cup like this, to be so good, I think he's got seven goals in his eight starts for Argentina. It's just incredible. And, and again, I don't think, without Messi, they wouldn't be here. But without Alvarez, I don't think they would be here either. And Pablo, he's one of the players that actually grew up with posters of Messi on his wall. There's pictures of him as a kid with Messi as well. That's got to be something special in that dressing room because, of course, every player in a World Cup final wants to win it for themselves. But these guys have got to surely want to win it with and for Messi too. Absolutely. And, and don't forget that Julian Alvarez, Enzo Fernandez, uh, those players, uh, Alexi McAllister, the only 21, 22, and probably those pictures is from 11, 12 years ago. They, they, Messi was like a, a hero for all of them. And now they're all playing a World Cup final with Messi. That's such a great story. And, 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 and for Julian Alvarez, I'm, I'm really... Uh, uh, pleased for him because I think he was uh, 
You know, one, one of those players that choose is patient and choose waiting for his chance. And as soon as Scaloni give uh, the chance, he choose, you know, he, he took it really well. Great performance. And, and, and it's incredible for a striker. I think he, he does more uh, running off the ball than he does on the ball. It's incredible. So um, for, for Messi, having Julian Alvarez uh, playing alongside him, it's been... Uh, you know, uh, fantastic for the team, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm really pleased for all those players because they deserve to be in the starting eleven. It's got to be quite special, hasn't it, Craig? You're a young player, you've idolised Messi, and here you are in a World Cup final with him. And he deserves to be. Uh, and I think, from his perspective, the World Cup has been well the whole season. He hasn't expected to play much at Manchester City because of uh, Erling Haaland, but yeah, he's, he's had some game time. He didn't. He came into this World Cup, he probably thought he was going to be a 20-minute man here or there, replacing Latoura Martinez. Uh, but that changed very quickly. And he's grasped it with both hands, and so you can't, you can't deny that. He has been a great foil for all the guys behind him, particularly Messi. And, uh, and yeah, what a, what a dream uh, come true. And I think for him, it'll only enhance his confidence, not only whatever happens on Sunday, but going back to his club. Going back to his club with his chest puffed out and having performed the way it has and to go in there and show Pep Guardiola, uh, who I'm sure knows just how good he is, but just proving it on, on the big stage. So, I think, I great think. story. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.